Airflow is against Bobo right now, having lost a 2-0 the last set. But you know what? I think it was a convincing 2-0, but never discount Carflow with the way that he can bring in this mental game into a grand final situation. Yeah, bringing it into PS2 to start. He grabbed the, the grenade. All right, he's starting to remember. He's starting to remember how to play Brawl. <laughs> Actually, is he, is he old enough to remember Brawl? Who? Carflow? He's around the same uh, age I as think PK Chris. I think his birth year starts with <laughs> two, so probably not. Ah, uh, he's We're probably like, yeah, that's right, Brawl. My older brother used to play that. We were trying to figure this out last night, and PK Chris is 20, and we're like, oh, how old do you think Carflow is Swiss? And Swiss said, around PK Chris's age. <laughs> I hate that. Yeah, most safe answer possible in like human history. Listen, I work in a law firm. Everything has to be safe. Yeah. <laughs> But, oh, that, that, my God, that up tilt, so safe for Bobo there. And only 67%. This is early for a Snake player. He's pretty heavy. Yeah, he's, what is he, like the 13th heaviest in the game? He's a big boy. He is a big boy. Deceivingly big boy for a zoner, you know? Oh, it's because he's a human. Like, the other heavies are a giant monkey, the Koopa, <laughs> you know, an alligator. And then True. it's human. A penguin. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Oh, back throw, Carflow at ledge, not where you want to be. Oh my, dragging him in the into the up smash. Has to air dodge through the up smash. I, what? Wow. Yep, that down smash does send you at a really funny angle. And I, I fear Bobo is cooking. Like, absolutely. He's cooking these grenades one after another. The, the frame traps coming out at the ledge from Bobo are insane in Carflow. Like, I don't even know what you can do to answer in these situations. I mean, once Bobo is off stage, and if he's recovering low, you gotta go for that Cypher. Right now. Oh, oh but even then, if he does air dodge, that Cypher can clip you. It has a hitbox of its own. Good job trying to challenge in the air. Carflow just has to keep in mind where the C4 is at all times, and finally, Getting that first stock, Bobo being like, eh, but a scratch. Yeah, for real, he's up basically a whole stock and then some, so just take your time, build your house, rack up that grenade damage, and I see an up, an up tilt coming into Carflow's future. Ooh. But you know, Carflow is really expecting the limit to kind of save him in the moment there, but uh, that grenade actually stopped the blade limit. Yeah. And here comes the Nikita. Oh, good tech. The car oh, but there's C4. The it's right there at the ledge. If you can't get through the Nikita, you're going to have to get through that. Oh, Ops look for the back air there. Instead of going for an up tilt on the platform, either way, it would have hit Carflow's shield. All right, but it's about to blow up maybe in 10 more seconds. <laughs> but who's counting? That Bobo's counting. <laughs> He's always counting. Oh, and good And Carflow job. counting on that up smash to bring him to last stock. Yeah, Carflow may be bringing it all the way back here. Has to play pretty much perfect from this point on, though, if he wants to take out Bobo. He's remembering, and he's like, all right, I can grab these grenades. But he just has to keep in mind this time. And this is something else that you also have to keep in mind, is that if you're watching Bobo kind of get through his own grenades and not get hit by the, the explosions, you kind of think to yourself, oh, I can do the same. And you can, <laughs> because the explosions are actually smaller for Snake than they are for his opponents. Really? I did not yes. know that. A little bit of Snake knowledge there for you folks. Yeah. They added that in this game, and I hate it. So far, though, oh, just missing the up tilt. Carflow. Oh, my God. Jumping over job. the C4. This is it. Oh, my God. He missed the opportunity. Looking and Bobo Barry. just kind of being like, oh, you know, just trying to trying to bait you into doing something. That Nikita, though. Oh, he just can't hit that. He burned his air dodge to not die. And you're dead anyway. There's no way you're dodging that Nikita. But Carflow, a fantastic job. Yeah, you go down huge early, but he brought that all the way back. That last stock from him was near perfect. So now, going into game two, yeah, you lost game one, but maybe you have a little bit of momentum because he was sitting at 130 for like two minutes. No, this was the all the momentum that you needed. He, you know, Bobo has been doing a really good job of keeping this edge pressure, like for ledge traps and stuff. But, you know, once Bobo was on a platform, Carflow kind of has some really good reads here. If he air dodged onto the ledge, I think he would have been safe. But yeah. we're going back to PS2. I would say maybe choose another stage. This is so good for Snake. You just have so much room to maneuver, so many platforms that you can actually, like, you know, build up traps on. And look at these <laughs> checks! That was nuts! The up smashes at ledge are just leading into like creativity, you know? Use your imagination. Oh, that's the problem with uh, Bobo is that he's able to mix this up so much and he has the tools to do so. It is never the same snake each game. 
Uh oh, grenade in hand. Still finding the explosion on car flow, but so far an even game with Bobo at ledge. He's even down a bit. Oh, oh my God. Tech looks for the up tilt. Not there, but a great parry on the back air. Nikita. You have to burn the air dodge to stay alive, and then it doesn't matter. You might as well just send yourself to the blast zone because that Nikita will find you. You know the you know that Sakurai is a Hideo Kojima fan because it's like, how do I take the one Nikita instance in the entire franchise and make it an integral part of his move yeah. That board smash coming in and covering a lot of ground. If Carflow was too antsy to get back onto stage, he would have been blown up. I almost just saw a forward throw grenade explosion into C4. And if I saw that, Swiss, I would have went crazy. You'd have been like, all right, I'm unplugging the controller. Time Meanwhile, to go, Carflow though. doing a good job of getting that back air. Yeah. Oh, the oh, play beam coming out. Oh, my God. The C4 coming out, too. Ooh, the dash dancing is coming out. Bobo? The Bobo is not sweating. Uh oh. The C4 into the nair, into the dash attack, into the another nair. Ooh! Oh, oh no! my God. He almost got him. Bobo's like, fine, fine. I can't style like that. Yeah. I'll style like this instead. Oh, what a down. He has smash. to burn it. Oh. This might be over. He gets the sticky. Bro is in training mode. I and don't know what up I just watched. takes it. A 2 0 oh, convincing. The curse continues for Carflow, and Bobo is your Xeno Weekly Champion. I'm like in awe right now. I feel like I just watched. <laughs> he's even popping out. He's like, woo. I feel like I just watched like Hurt walk into the venue and then be like, all right. All I mean, right. Carflow is feeling pretty hurt right now. That was crazy from Bobo. He was, he was hitting those ledge traps with such creativity and then finding those down smashes through the air dodges. Wow. Wow. I'm in awe. I'm in awe right now, Swiss. I mean, the way he was just able to control the pace of that entire set. Carflo was terrified to go in, and I think he mentally lost it once that C4 hits. And, yeah. and Bobo was just like, oh, man. And look at that. Even if he didn't get that C4, that right there That's... was made Carflo panic so hard. That's just sick movement. That was just sick movement. Who's not panicking when you're moving around the state? No other character is moving like that. No, none. Listen, he may not be water, but he's like the air. He'll get and he'll gust you away. He's like sand. He's coarse and gets everywhere. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The one, well, one of the one good lines in the prequel series. But you know what? I'm excited for the sequel next week because, you know, you got to come out every single week here for Xeno Weeklies. It's every Wednesday, without fail. Rain or shine, and we're going to have more shine now that we're in the beautiful summer months. Spring right now, but into summer. Hosted by the wonderful House of 3000 right here at 21 Ludlow Street at Xeno Zero Gaming. Come on down, support one of the best locals in the scene. And if you can't make it down in person, you got to be watching on twitch.tv slash House of 3000. And you know what? If you want more wonderful Smash, we do finally have that monthly Xeno Saga coming up Saturday, May 11th. So not this Saturday, but next Saturday. Yeah, absolutely. And let's say these Wednesdays aren't enough for you. You think you're better than that, you know? Or you want to play the very best you can. You're not winning the Wednesdays. Maybe you can win the Tuesdays. Yeah. Yeah, you got to go to the Tuesday, Swiss. You got to head out to Waypoint Warriors. $6 entry. $6 venue. All Long Island constantly showing up to Waypoint Warriors, so you get to play some people you normally may not get to play, just like you may get to play some people you normally don't get to play at Bob's. Oh, does Long Island come here? I don't know. But if Bob's, they don't, I stand a chance. <laughs> Bombs is how you win Xenos, right? It is the stepping stone. That's where you're going to get a lot of practice. That's where you're going to get a lot of VODs. And then you're going to take that stuff and you're going to apply it to the Xeno Wednesdays. And then you're going to win. Glutamate winning Bombs on Monday. Coming out to Xeno today and doing a great job. Yeah, you know, this is uh, training ground zero here. And, of course, we do have to thank House of 3000 for hosting these wonderful events. Honestly, no one doesn't like them. Be sure to hire them at events at house of 3000nyc for all of your video production needs. And you can always contact them on Twitter, Blue Sky. If you're watching on Twitch.tv right now. You can uh, subscribe to their YouTube channel to catch all the VODs from this event. And be sure to join the community on the Discord. Yeah, Devin, hardest worker we know. Doesn't sleep on the job like this guy. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I sleep on my lunch breaks, yeah, all right? Okay, it's not okay, on the job, yeah, technically. Yeah. Just in the job vicinity. 
Yeah. But you know okay. what? I'm never sleeping here. No. Because never. I love this job. I love casting this local. I love casting with you. And I love that everybody comes out every week to support the local, as well as you viewers at home. It's been a privilege actually being in your life every single week and uh, you allowing me to do so. I'm glad that you like me enough to let me do it. Well said, Swiss. Wow, I'm about to shed a tear. Oh. That came from the heart. It did. Yeah. But you know what? It's only with your support that we can continue to do this. So if you do have some, uh, you know, Amazon Prime, you can afford to give us a little sub. Come on. It's only for a month. Or you can uh, be very nice and uh, subscribe from your own pockets. Come on. Five bucks. Five bucks. Five bucks. Just don't go without coffee for one day. Yeah. All right. I actually might be too much. As a coffee holic <laughs> myself. Yeah. But you know what? It's been an absolute blast. I cannot wait for next week. Have a wonderful night, everybody. I'll see you then.